Hello friends and welcome back to Guiding Tech and in today's video I'm going to talk about the all new OnePlus 6. Well this device comes with almost stock Android experience but the Oxygen OS that bakes right into the device gives you array of features and that's what this video is going to be all about. So my name is Ashish, you're watching Guiding Tech and let's talk about the top 9 tips and tricks that as a OnePlus 6 user you must know. So the very first feature is about the notch. Yes, this is one of those features that makes OnePlus 6 unique when you compare it to its predecessors. And while the notch is great, you might love it, you might hate it, but still there are a number of apps that might not be compatible with the notch and you just think, yeah, let's hide it for now. So well, if you are thinking about it, there is a trick to hide that notch. All you need to do is navigate to settings, then display, and then you'll see an option that says notch display and here you'll find an option that says hide the notch area that's it the notch will be hidden and if you in the near future think about getting the notch back you might just go to the feature again and turn it on and if you ask about me i really love this notch but then there are some apps that gives hiccups like whatsapp but still it's like give or take the second feature of oneplus 6 is its smart folder and on your home screen if you have a lot of icons and you just want to arrange them in separate folders oneplus 6 launcher has you covered this feature automatically assigns name to the folders on the home screen according to the apps you are moving for instance if you are dropping the facebook app on top of twitter icon the folder will be automatically named as social and likewise for gaming photography travel and so on Another cool feature of the OnePlus 6 launcher is its smart tags. Whenever you tap on the search bar of the app drawer, it shows you all the relevant tags related to your apps and you just need to tap on them to get that particular cluster of apps to launch quickly. The next feature is about the OnePlus 6 Basin Lock and man, it's blazing fast. It's like when I see the screen it just lights up and I'm on the home screen and there are times when I'm not even able to get the hang of what's on my lock screen as notifications and thinking about it there are times when you just want to have a look at the notification and one plus six well it lets you do that to disable the auto unlock navigate to settings security in lock screen and then face unlock and here you'll see the option that says auto unlock after the screen is on and just make sure that you disable that particular switch. Thereafter, your phone will be unlocked through the face unlock mechanism, but then it will stay on the lock screen and you'll have to use the swipe up gesture to go to home screen and you'll be able to have a glance on what's important on the lock screen as notifications. Moving on to the next point, it's about OTG security. While the OnePlus 6 gives you the option to just plug in a Type-C USB drive and copy the data, there is a built-in security feature that makes it a personal device. Now if you go to settings and then navigate to advanced settings, you'll find the options OTG storage and just when you want to use that particular OTG functionality, turn it on. The option will be active for the next 10 minutes after which it will turn off automatically. Moving on, the next feature is about the on-screen gestures using which you can navigate on the OnePlus 6 just like the iPhone X users. This cool gesture control process lets you have more screen real estate by hiding the navigation bar. To enable navigation gestures, head over to settings, buttons and tap on navigation bar and gestures. Once inside, tap on the third option and bid goodbye to the home screen buttons. So this all new navigation feature might look overwhelming like if you are on Android you must be accustomed to the back, recent and the home button but trust me if you use it for a couple of days there's no going back from it. Again the next feature is about gestures but this is something to do with quick shortcuts. To enable gestures just head over to the name setting on the oneplus 6 menu and there you'll find the option where it says draw o draw v draw s and you can use these gestures on the lock screen to launch an app to control your music and even you get the option to double tap 
to wake up the device. Now moving on, the next feature is about running two apps, like two instances of the same app on your OnePlus 6. And this feature is baked right onto the Oxygen OS and you really don't need any third party app, which gives you a sense of security. To do so, go to settings, apps, parallel apps and just enable the button for the supported apps you wish to run dual accounts on. Moving on, the another cool feature of the OnePlus 6 is its lift to see notifications. This feature lets you have a glance on the time and messages when you lift the phone. What I love about glance is that you don't have to go through the hassle of unlocking your phone or for the matter waking up the phone. Just lift it up a tiny bit and all the information will be right there on the lock screen for you to see. To enable the option navigate to display, ambient display and enable the option that says lift up display. Finally, moving on to the last trick, it's about dual volte and thanks to the 845 processor, you'll be able to run two geo sims or two volte enabled sims as a matter of fact directly from your OnePlus 6. Now if you're not getting the volte signal on both the sims, all you need to do is open the sim settings and toggle the volte switch on which is by default disabled and that's about it. So friends, those were the top 9 OnePlus 6 tips and tricks that as a OnePlus 6 user, you must know. And tell me, did you like the video? Well, no need to tell me, you can always tap the like button, the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to Guiding Tech, that red button is waiting for your click. Well, that's all for now. And I hope to see you in our next video. Up until then, take care and have a wonderful day.